Okay, now we're going to, uh, I'm going to cut another fret in here. From our chart, we know how, uh, how far we need to be. We need to be 109.7 millimeters. Hundred and nine point seven. Basically right there. From the nut back to the fret. So we want to see a a full dot showing behind our blade. It just makes it easy to align the blade. Believe it or not, if you don't put the mark exactly where it goes, you put it just a tiny bit ahead. And here we clamp down our, our board with our, uh, with our side clamps, kind of temporary. I've sighted down the edge of this block standing here, and I think that's going to be really close. And yeah, just a touch more. Wasn't much, but we're dealing with thousandths of an inch here, so that should do it right there. We keep our finger against the blade, which keeps it against the guide here, and this guide has already been adjusted for this fingerboard's taper. So now all we got to do is very gently get our slot started. has touched the wood. And that does it. Just like that. One more slot. <clears throat> I'm holding the angle of the blade consistently at this angle ensures that each one of the slots ends up at the same stopping point along the edge of the fingerboard. You can see how well those line up. It comes with touch. You can pretty much tell exactly where the angle of your saw is going to be over here just from the angle of your body. You don't need a stop or anything. The fret will go all the way down to the edge as it's curved and when you mash it in and dress off the sides it'll be perfect.